Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com. In this video, I want to go over a, another new set of Photoshop actions that we have just released. Uh, and this is also deals with the retouching, the portrait retouching category, and that is the Hair Essentials Photoshop actions. So last time, last week, we released the Face Essentials. The, that's more uh, kind of uh, details with the face, uh, skin smoothing, um, some different skin contouring, stuff like that. Uh, but this week, we're releasing the hair essentials. This is all Photoshop actions that deal with enhancing the hair in your models. So we're going to show you a couple of these examples here. So for this first image, um, this is a, a very nice image overall. Uh, but what we want to do is just make the hair pop a little bit more. Not, not crazy, but just a little bit more. So you can see here, I have my hair essentials actions right here. And I'm just going to expand that folder. And here we have five different actions so we have a uh, hair pop and a hair pop plus sharpen we have pure texture stray hair removal and fade and sharpen so for this one again I just want to do a simple uh, pop in the hair just make the hair pop out a little bit more so I'm gonna click on that action click the play button and it's gonna give me a little uh, dialog box it says uh, what the best method of kind of painting in the effect would be so I'm gonna go right there I'm gonna get a large brush fairly large brush make sure the color is white and my flow is usually between 20 and 30 I'm gonna keep it down to 20 and here I'm just gonna go in here and start painting in the hair now because my flow is is fairly low here uh, the effect is getting it's more gradually painting in so that gives you a little more flexibility so you're just not painting in everything uh, at, at max uh, when you're kind of coloring in the hair but we're just going in here and uh, painting in over the hair where we want it to look where we want it to have the a, 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 effect applied here so right around there so that is a simple hair pop so this was the before you can see it just it kind of has a little bit more flatter look and this one just really makes the highlights come out a little bit more in the hair uh, and you can kind of again go in here and paint a little bit more um, but you can see the kind of effect it did there so the before the after and you really don't want to have these effects very um, uh, very overdone that's why some of these effects are really subtle but you can definitely tell a difference so that is the just generic hair pop uh, right there so now let's go to this one right here this is a cool photo where what we want to do is actually give texture to the hair you can see uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of contrast in the hair naturally but what we want to do is apply the texture so I'm gonna go over here to my pure texture action here and again I'm just gonna click the play button and it's going to apply the effect here and you can see we see it get the same dialog box uh, get a large white brush and have it between 20 or 30 in your flow we're going to get our brush here and we're just going to paint in the effect here so i'm just painting in right over the hair to get that texture in there you may have to size the brush down a little bit to paint in uh, depending on where your model's hair lies so right there right there that would be good so uh, just right here you can see the before you can see the after it really brings out that texture you could also get a little bit creative with the action and apply texture to other places so let's say we want to add texture to the shirt here we can go in here and add texture to the shirt as well but again this is really meant for hair but I just kind of want to show you there is some uh, flexibility with these actions so this is before and then this is the after so let's do one more here we're gonna go to stray hair removal now this one's a little bit different because it's really meant for obviously removing stray hairs, but it's also meant uh, for images that have a really natural looking bokeh. Uh, this image doesn't uh, technically have bokeh, I mean the, the background is blurred out, but um, if you have an image that has a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of bokeh naturally this is really going to work out well for you so here is our image uh, you can see there's a little bit of stray hairs around the edges here right around there so we're going to go down to our stray hair removal we're going to click the play button again and we're going to get the same message again just giving you some little instructions you can follow so right here is our effect and what we're going to do is get our brush and do like we've been doing with the other couple examples i'm going to go out a little bit here and I'm just gonna go paint in around the model. Now, because this works better on images that have natural bokeh with them, um, this is kind of gonna blur out the background just a little bit. So that's why it works better with those images. So I'm gonna go around the model here, go to the top portion, 
And this is really just a, a very easy way of removing simple stray hairs. If you have a lot of stray hairs in your model um, that, uh, that are more prominent, then obviously you'll need to do a little bit of touch up in the beginning using uh, maybe the, uh, the uh, spot healing brush, uh, clone stamp, whichever one you prefer. Uh, to get some initial stray hairs removed, but this one is it works pretty well for just general uh, general stray hair removal. So right around there looks good, and uh, you can see got a couple more up here. We're just going to take care of just right there, and there we go. So this is our before, and then this is our after. You can see they're kind of faded out a little bit, but again, you might have to depend on the model. You might have to do a little bit of uh, uh, pre-work before you pop, pop your action on and paint out some of the stray hairs. So uh, that is just three examples. There's a couple more examples uh, that you can see on the Sleeklens website. So sleeklens.com, link in the description down below to this preset pack or this action pack. Uh, you'll be able to see some, uh, some examples there and learn some more information about this product. So uh, if you haven't checked out the face essentials, make sure you check that out as well. And here is the hair essentials. Uh, that we just demoed and you can uh, really start becoming more of a retouching pro with these very, very simple, easy to use actions. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from Sleek Lens and I'll see you in the next one.